Hi, in this tutorial, we're going to look at divs and spans in HTML and CSS. Divs and spans, they're basically used to organize content on a page, uh, and we can apply a theme to specific sections or blocks on the page that are um, either divs or spans. So there are two tags that we can use, the div tag and the span tag. A div is, uh, it, it's short for division. So a div is a section or a division on a web page. It can be thought of as a block uh, on a web page. And that block could contain a range of different content from text to images or both. Um, and it can take up a very small part of the page or it can take up a very large part or all of a page. And there can be different divs or blocks on the page um, that could be maybe organized into columns, um, things like that. So um, divs, they're, they're thought of as, as like blocks on a page. On the other hand, a span, that's used to group inline elements in a web page. So for example, a span could be used to change the style of just a few words from a, a paragraph or a heading, um, rather than um, changing the style of maybe several paragraphs um, of text within a block. So divs and spans on their own, they are unnoticed and they don't really change the way a page displays until you apply uh, style using CSS code. So if a div or a span exists in a HTML document, a web page, but no style is applied to it with CSS code, then the appearance of the web page isn't going to change. You won't notice anything different. So what we'll have a look at now is we'll, uh, we'll go through a couple of examples. Um, and so we'll start with, we'll create a div and I've got my HTML code over here on the left and my CSS code on the right, uh, which is linked here. And um, what we'll do in the body section of the page is we'll create a div. All right, so we use the div tag and this indicates the start of the div and then we're using the opening tag and then we have the closing tag down here with the forward slash in it which indicates the end of the div or this division or section in the web page all right uh, in this div i'm going to go ahead and just add um, a paragraph i'll say um, this is some text inside my div all right now if we save that code and go to the web page and refresh the web page we see the text we see just a plain paragraph text here but nothing else looks different at all um, if we didn't have a div there if we just had a paragraph on its own and it wasn't between the div tags it'll look exactly the same it just looked like a normal paragraph so we won't actually see anything different until we apply um, some css code to give the div um, a theme or style so in our CSS code, we can just reference the div selector. So we can say div, and then in the curly brackets, we can apply a theme to that. Now, we might want to go, and it's very likely that we'll want to add many divs to a web page to um, add several blocks of different content and organize the page into different sections or blocks. So if we apply a theme to the div selector, it's going to apply the theme to any divs that are on this page. So if I, if I add another div, below this div, it's going to have the same thing. But in a, one of the next tutorials, we're going to look at how to reference this individual elements or a group of elements on the page. So we might have one div that maybe we want to have a blue background and another div that we want to have a green background. And we can do that, but we'll look at that in one of the next tutorials. So we've referenced the div. So what we could do now is maybe give it a border. Um, so it might say um, two pixels, solid, uh, green. Okay, and we can go and save that and refresh it. And there we go, we've got a, a div, it's occupying the full width of the page at the moment, um, and just a bit of space here uh, vertically. All right, we could uh, go and give it a background color as well. Um, just make it light yellow. All right, there we go. Not a great theme, but we can see um, the border around the div and the background color. We could give it some padding as well. We could say maybe 50 pixels padding inside the div, like that. Um, and we can also specify the width and the height because this is just like a block. So we could say 
All right, let's make the width 400 pixels and we'll make the height uh, 200 pixels. Just like that. Okay, okay we could also go and um, use a percentage value as well. So instead of 400 pixels, we might just say 20% uh, for the width and, or maybe 30%. Okay, so we can use percentage or pixel um, uh, values there for width and height. Okay, so that's basically a div. A div is just a division or a section or, or a block on a web page. Uh, I could create another div if I wanted to. I could just copy that div. And I can say this is um, text inside another div for this one. So I've got two divs here now. And if I save that and refresh, you can see that there's now two divs there on the page. Okay. Um, if I was to make them a little bit smaller, uh, they're both going to be the same size. So basically, whenever I change uh, the theme for the div element, it's going to apply to both of those divs. Okay. So... Uh, that's, that's how we can apply a theme to our div. Let's get rid of that one for now. Now, let's have a look at spans. So um, spans are used for uh, grouping uh, inline elements. So um, we might want to just change the style of maybe a few words in this sentence here rather than all of the content within the div. So um, let's say I just wanted to change the color of these two words here, some text. What I can do is put them within a span. So it's just like creating a div. You have a starting span tag and then a closing span tag. So this is the start of my span here. And whoops, I'll move this just over here. And this is the end of my span here. So these two words are within between the span tags. I can now save that and go over to my CSS code and reference uh, the span element and apply a theme to that. So I might make this color blue and I might give it a different background color. I might say light blue. Uh, and we might, uh, we could change the text as well. We could say like font family Arial or something like that. Okay, so this is going to be applied to, um, this theme is just going to be applied to this text here. It's a span uh, which is within this div. So there we go. Uh, so that's basics of spans and, and divs. And in the next few tutorials, we're going to look at um, how to apply themes to, to specific um, divs on the page. Um, and we'll look at how to add background images and, and things like that. One last thing I'll mention is that we can change the position of a div. Um, so we could stack divs on top of each other or we could stack them next to each other or organize them to um, like take up different um, percentage widths of the page. So we could have different columns, split the page into different columns. Um, but we'll look at that in a future tutorial. What I will just show you quickly is that we can change the position this way. We can say position absolute and then say how far we want the div to be from the top and the left side of the page. So I might say, all right, set the div to be 50 from the left, uh, from the top and from the left, uh, we might say 20. If I was to save that code and go back and refresh, we see the div moves down 50 um, and the a div moves from the left 50. So that's, that's specifying the amount of space we want it to be from the top and the left. All right, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.